I've got such idiotic your noises. <sighs> come on. Come on, come on, let's get together. <clears throat> Any minute now. Come on. Come on, you hot tamale. There we go. And I'm live. Only 20 minutes late today. Um, I was going to be on time. Um, but why lie? I jacked off and <laughs> I was late. Um, anyway, weirdest entrance ever. We are going to fi finish, finalise, finish, finalise? Um, Indie Clips, which is one of my favourite games this year, honestly. Like, I really was not expecting to like this game that much, but... Fuck, this is like the perfect game for me. So, Violet's story. Art can really fuck up your life. Oh, and I've also just noticed that loading thing down the bottom. Like, I, I noticed last time it was Pac-Man, but I didn't see the, um, the puking at the end. Oh, damn it, I'm going to have to move the camera. Hang on, two seconds, two seconds. Oh, oh Brian... Um, advanced settings, camera settings, change to bottom right, that should be fine, let's deal with that. There we go. <clears throat> Violet, sweetie, I need a super, super, super favour. <laughs> ah, what is it now, Cornelius? <laughs> I need to flatter myself for a few hours. This afternoon, Klaus is coming to... Make up. Mm. Klaus? The, uh, Klaus, the German guy that looks like a sociopath? Didn't you say it was over? That he was too much of a pervert? Even for you? Yeah, yeah, I know, but I decided to give us another try. I bought a. Th oh, I, I was gonna say, brought. I bought a five liter can of lubricant, so. Oh. <laughs> No worries, I'm working at the pet shop today. I'll leave in a minute. But leave the house clean, not like last time. And don't touch my paintbrushes. They're not, they're not sex toys. Thanks, cutie. Violet's easel. My design project. Last night I felt inspired and added a few more finishing touches. You finished it already? There are wigs to go until the deadline. I told Miss Sweep she can come by to evaluate my work. I'll get an A at least. The project will be my calling card in the industry. All the big design studios will want to hire me in no time. Why are the trash bags still here? You were supposed to take them out. Violet, my cupcake, you know how squeamish I am about smells. And those plastic bags irritate my skin. This is disgusting, Cornelius. There are flies here. Flies! See that? You've... you've we've created life. If we've created it, we could snuff it out, stop making a fuss, and swat those flies. Come on. Uh, kill a few flies, why not? If you're not gonna pay the rent, you're not welcome here. Prepare to die. Yeah, so I could have originally given out like a more sort of like... If you're not gonna pay rent, then prepare to die. But, because like, she was so like... <coughs> sort of tweaked out like in the original I was like nah, nah, sort of thing so I'm trying to sort of keep that style of voice but with her still being a bit normal is uh it's is, is a it's a um, artistic choice <laughs> oh so it's like the um that secret mini game from um Mario Maker oh no it's not it's like Duck Hunt It's like, fuck done. Wait, hang on, that doesn't work because it's a H, so it'd be Huck done, if anything. Fuck you, fly. Oh, I've only got one shot left. Um... 
Oh, right, it automatically reloads the bullets. Okay, I see. Wait for it. Fuck. Oh, you ass. You ass. I got an oops. Oh, fuck you. Oh, I didn't have a bullet to shoot him. I want to see what had happened if I shot him. That's okay. Round two. There once was a fly that swallowed an egg. That's not how the run goes. Wow. Or am I deliberately failing so that the, the dog fly turns up again? Oh. No, I'm not. I'm actually not. Ah, <laughs> uh, why am I too honest? <laughs> All right. Fuck you, fly. Fly, die. Oh. I wonder if I can make like a slam poem for a fly. Fly, flying high, flying in the sky. Won't you die? <laughs> I, I, I can't think of anything past that. Eating shit. Deal with it. That's the skit. I got a perfect. How did I get a perfect? Like, I absolutely missed some flies. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to complain. Like, a perfect is a perfect is a perfect. So, I mean, you know. Oh. Fuck. Oh. oh. He nearly got away. Wait, I think it's actually more beneficial to waste all... Beneficial to waste all my bullets because um, I just actually reloaded all three in one go when I wasted them all. But at the same time, why try that and risk it? I'm not sure if I shot that behind the bin bag, but as it's still not as it's not still flying around, I would imagine that I did kill it. Mwahaha. Come on, flies. Come at me, bras. Ooh. I think I got it again. Tell you what, as this is going on a bit, I, I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'll get up to round five just to ensure that I probably have won the mini game, and then I'll let myself die. And uh, as I fail, when that dog fly turns up, I will try and shoot it to see what happens. Fuck it. Oh no, you can't. Ah, oh, I tried. I tried. Oh, actually, I didn't have any bullets at the time, so yeah. Maybe you can. I don't know. We'll find out. So interestingly, you can't shoot when there's no flies on the screen. Like, so I absolutely just tried then. Like, see, it's not working. I'm learning so much today. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. Ha ha. You come to my neighborhood. You try and eat my trash. I'll turn you into ash. One, well, I think that would add probably happen like with the heat of the bullets that leaves the gun hitting such a small target I'm wondering if you would actually like fry the fly by shooting it but then again I don't know if the bullet would probably move too fast to actually cook it I don't know we'll have to experiment with that we'll have to set up an experiment to find that out See, this is why I'm not a scientist, because I just try really weird shit all the time. <laughs> oh. Right, so I'm on round five now, so I'll just complete this round. And then we'll let ourselves die and see what happens. Oh. Fuck. Oh no, I might actually lose this round, because I've already missed two. Yeah, right, uh, Mr. Laffy McLaughlin. Ah, it's Laffy McLaughlin. The laughter man of the val village. Village? The vag. The laughter man of the vag. Ha ha. Right, one more. Oh, fuck. Can't believe I've done this. So I missed three flies, but that's fine. 
Right, so now we're just going to let ourselves lose. Oh, okay, you lose if you miss three anyway. Or maybe I won, because it did say that's okay. It didn't say, like, failure or anything. So I think I might have just won it. And you get nothing for doing that. Okay, but that's, that's awesome. But we get to continue with the rest of the thing. So let's look out the window. Oh. That's a clo cozy. That's a cozy flat. But the neighborhood sucks. The neighbors are so weird. Why does he look a bit like a clown? Like, what's with the white makeup? It looks it makes him look either like a mime or like clown slightly. I don't know if that's just me though. What will await us outside the door? We're about to find out. Miss Saggy Tit. Miss Saggy Tit Pet Care. I love it. I love it, mate. I don't think it's a good idea to go back inside. Cornelius must be getting ready for Klaus. Open your ass for the millions of ass. <laughs> I don't know. Man, I haven't had Goldfinger in ages. I need to, like, actually... Well, apart from Superman, which was on the Tony Hawk's uh, Pro Skate uh, remake, um, which, obviously, I, I got and loved. Obviously, because, you know, you know me. <laughs> good afternoon, Miss Saggy Tits. <laughs> ah, good day to you too, dear. I feel that your chakra is a bit off. Is everything all right? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I'm just a tad nervous about a project I have to turn in at the fine arts school. That's all. <laughs> Remember, my child, Zen. Always Zen. Breathe in, breathe in. Oh, hang on. Breathe in, breathe out. In, out, release those negative vibes. By the way, Princess needs a pedicure session, as well as a hairdo and a bath. We'll be staying at a spiritual refuge this week, and I want her to look at her. I want her to look at her best. I want her to look her best. We'll walk barefoot on the grass and swim naked in the river. There are so many trees that need to be hugged. Sure, I'll. Uh -huh. Take care of Princess and the rest of the customers. Oh, hey Emma! Nice to see you. To say you're nice. How you feeling now? Has the headache subsided? Gone? Maybe? At least subsided, hopefully. All right. Um, let's look at the dog food. Doggy yummy Brussels sprouts flavored. Doggy delicious. I once tried doggy yummy. I must confess. It wasn't that bad. It tasted like shredded wet newspapers. Mmm, my favorite. VIP dogs. Apparently some very famous dogs have been to this shop. Astronaut dogs, police dogs, surfing dogs, architect dogs. They're definitely evolving. Um... So what was I meant to do? I can't even remember. Like, talk to her again. <laughs> Darling, I don't mean to impose upon your free and wild spirit, but Princess and I don't have all day, you know. Uh, so, Alright, so we need to go through the door, maybe? I'm pressing X. Um, Maybe I don't have to go that way. Maybe I've got to go this way, then. Let's try this way. I'll have to do my best to deal with more than one dog at the same time. Okay, let's do this! Um, yeah, it's gone. Paracetamol and endorphins helped with that. <laughs> oh, I get you. <laughs> they do say that that is the best thing for uh, headaches. Which is why it doesn't make sense when people say, like, I've got a headache. If you know what I mean. <laughs> um, oh, it's like, um, oh, that, that, that beer bartender game whatever it's fucking called I had it on the Xbox so I cannot remember not Xbox Xbox 360 even um, I can't remember what it was called though I can't believe they've done this it left the shit what do we do with the shit um like actually oh right we've got to go along and clean it okay oh I, I need to collect the shit and it gives me points Okay. Well, as a dog owner, I must confess that I definitely would not get points from um, collecting poo. That's like the last thing I'd get points from. Oh. 
Hey, where am I? Okay, I lost where I was then. Oh, the dog ate the shit. Fuck. All right, let's collect this shit quick. Oh, I can just. All right, okay. Now I was going all the way back to the beginning to um, collect the shit. I didn't have to. No, I died. Okay, right. So if you get let them eat too much shit, I know what you mean. <laughs> Right, so if you let them eat too much shit, then you die. Oh, right, you've got lives up in the top right corner. I did not see that until now. Right, collect the shit, collect the shit, collect the shit. There we go. Right. I'm, I'm on it now. I'm on it like Sonic eating tonic. Why would Sonic eat tonic? It, like, tonic is something that you drink. Like, what a weird guy I am. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 Back, back, back. Just absolutely bombard them with bones. It's fine. Sweet, I've got an extra life somehow. Oh, right, right, I see. If they eat the shit, you lose a life. But if you get the shit back off them, you actually get that life back again. So it's like a case of if three are eating shit at the same time, then you fail. I'm just absolutely bombarding like all lanes with bones right now. It's fine. Or doggy licious sprout treats or whatever they were called. Absolutely take my bones. Take my bones. Boom! That's how we do it. See, I thought the next mini game I was gonna play was the cuphead one. I do know that there is a cuphead one. Um like I saw the trophies and it's like the very next one down was the Cuphead one. So it might actually be the last game we play. Maybe it's going upwards, I don't know. Um... Oh, at last, I can see you've done a fine job with Princess. You're the best canine stylist I've ever met. Thanks, Miss Saggy Tits. Hey, I'm done for today. I'm going home if that's okay. Don't worry, I'll send you a picture of Princess and myself once we get to the river. Don't bother! See you! <laughs> uh, can you imagine saying that to a customer? Like, they're like, Oh, my life, I must show you this about my life. And you're just like, Don't, don't bother. Like, <laughs> but you've got to be like, all sort of customer service. Like, Oh, yeah, that will be great. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, Eric, how's it going, man? Um, I am just finishing off this lovely game that I've actually decided is one of my favourite of the year. Like, I've really got into this, actually. Um, it's a bit too much of a hippie for me, but... Oh, it's a bit... Oh, she's a bit too much of a hippie for me, but Miss Saggy Tits is nice. Hang on, she didn't pay me. If I keep bathing ducks for nothing, I'll eventually get fired. Anyway, I should be getting home. Hi, can I help you? I'm looking for a Halloween costume to dress up my cat. Are you sure it's a cat? It definitely looks like a fish to me. I can tell a difference between a cat and a fish. This is my koi fish, my other pet. Have you got any wasp repellent? Um, we've got shark repellent, koala repellent, and platypus repellent. But I'm afraid we've run out of wasp repellent. Terribly sorry. Okay, then I'll need a flamethrower. Are there any on sale? I think I'm gonna have to check on that. Can you imagine a pet shop that sold uh, flamethrowers? Hey Emma, does your pet shop sell flamethrowers? <laughs> I love the last room. This game was hilarious. Ah, uh, this game is so good. Like honestly, I cannot stress enough like how good the humor is in this game. Like I've laughed so much. I love it. And that cyber said it also gives me a chance to like voice act the characters, which obviously I have fun doing. <laughs> Although today, <clears throat> not gonna lie, I'm feeling a bit uh, croaky throated. Is that Carmen San Diego? Ah, who or what the hell are you? Violet, my dear, don't you know what day it is today? Carmen San Men. 
Garmin Samenstru! <laughs> is she menstruating? <laughs> Today it's third. Is it Friday? It's what? Uh, I can't remember the voice now. I've already forgotten the voice. Um, what? I need to give her a memorable voice. Um, 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 I'll give her a slightly Russian voice. Why not? <laughs> it's one of those magical. <laughs> That's not Russian. That's not Russian. Um, oh well, she could be a bit Scottish. That's fine. <laughs> It's one of those magical days of the month. I'm your period. <laughs> no! Yes, and guess what? You left your tampons at home. No! <laughs> That's an awful laugh. <laughs> the second I heard menstrual, I was like, oh, she's definitely going to be something to do with period. And yes, it's the cuphead level. I knew it was coming. You shit. Um, right, so... Okay, right, okay, I've got the controls. So uh, that is to... There we go. <laughs> the tampon. And the eggs with sperms in them. Okay, I mean, why not? Why not, right? This is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> Oh, uh, the Cuphead Menstrual Game. I'm trying to think of a pun for that, but, um... Cuphead... Uh, no, no, okay, I haven't got time to get that one. Um, um, um... Time of month... Uh, no, no, no puns are coming to me. God damn it. I'm too busy, like, concentrating on, like, the fire. The fires of hell. Also, I've just realised that she's riding on a bloody tampon. Like, how long did that take me to realise that? We've got a boss coming. Who's it going to be? Oh, <laughs> time of month calendar. Okay, fair enough. Oh, fuck. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Oh, I've got... Sp I've got... Um... Oh. Okay, I cannot avoid that move, apparently. Oh! Aha! Right, okay, right. But I can press my counter at the very right moment and absorb it as a special move for the future. That's awesome. She's riding that good cotton, good old pot, potton. Good old cotton pony. <laughs> I love it, Eric. I love it. <laughs> I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it like this. Uh, ha! There you go. Boom. Shake, shake, shake the womb. There we go. There, there's my pun. I will say this until the boss, this isn't as hard as a cuphead um auto scroller level, but still it, it's um it's probably one of the hardest levels I've played on this game so far, so that that's something. Ooh. And then weave. Weave Brittany alone! Why does that be like Fred Durst at the beginning of that? Like, leave me alone! Move in the move out! Hands up the hands down! Back up, back up! Tell me what you want to do now! Right, let's see if I can time this right this time. Wait for it. Boom! Fuck you! Eat my special- Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that part though. But, that's what Cuphead's all about, it's like learning the new patterns as we go. Ooh, fuck, 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 I can't believe you've done this. Haha! <laughs> Fuck yeah, there we go. Beat the bitch. That is how we do it. Phew, I made it. I wonder why my menstruation looks so much like Carmen San Francisco. I should talk to my shrink about it. Time to go home. I hope Cornelius and Klaus have finished making up.
Oh, police cordon, hobo's office. Where's that homeless con artist? He's usually here by now. I must have lost more than a hundred bucks playing dollar toss with him. Oh, this is the area where we went earlier with um 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 the other character. Because that's the billboard man in the garbage. Oh, the crazy billboard man has nobody left to hassle. Burger and Donald's was his entire life. <clears throat> I'm glad they finally shut it down. The food was disgusting. Okay, right, let's go back to the flat then. I've got a feeling we're going to walk in on something kind of dodgy right now, and I'm going to laugh so much if we do. Here we go. I'm calling it. I'm calling it now. <laughs> oh, why are the lights off? Cornelius, have you been using those glowing condoms again? There's no one here. Let's see if I can find the damn light switch. Uh... Ouch, I just trod on something slippery and phallic shaped. Okay, it's a dildo. <laughs> uh, why is everything so damp and what is this smell? It smells like rotten meat. Ew. Oh, hang on, that's the dildo. Right, okay, that's the same thing. What the hell am I touching now? Damn you, Cornelius. This room's a lot longer than I remember it. Unless I'm going against the light switch, uh, against the... Uh... Ah, I found the light switch at last. There we go. Okay. <laughs> but, but what the fuck is this? Hold on, this is not what it seems, or it is. There's a corpse on my couch. Damn it, Cornelius. I told you Klaus was too experimental, even for you. And we've been robbed. They've taken every... My design project. No! Miss Sweep will be here at any time to evaluate me. Ah, oh, this is a nightmare. I must... <laughs> calm down. Gotta calm down. There must be something I can do. Oh, is this the part where she snaps? <laughs> Sweet. Oh, I get to play the psycho girl again. This is awesome. A carrot. A carrot? These guys are obsessed with phallic veggies. Phallic veggies of the porn industry. Incorporated. Where did these buttons come from? Maybe I can use them. <clears throat> Cornelius' corpse? Can we do anything with him? It did say to click on him, so I thought maybe we could do something, but no. These glasses might do, but what for? How the fuck am I going to wriggle out of this one? Um, do we just leave? No? Okay. What are we meant to do then? What are we meant to do? Uh, oh, razor blade. A razor blade? Maybe I could... Perhaps. I've got some stuff, but I still need the main ingredient. A body to work with. Oh, okay. We're, we're about to slice and dice, apparently. <laughs> hey, Cyber, how's it going, dude? Uh, my God, what a shot to come into the stream to. <laughs> exactly. It's the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. No one will believe this is my concept art project. I'll end up in jail doing life. Maybe I'll have time to draw there and my career will really take off. So this is that butt creature that we saw earlier in the game. Ahem. Is this a bad time, Miss Oakley? Miss Sweep, how? What are you doing here? Who opened the door to you? Didn't you realize I used the fade to black to get into your flat? We had an appointment, didn't we? I'm here to assess your final product. Project. Product. <laughs> My project. Huh? Yeah, sure, of course. The, f the final project. How could I ever forget? It's a final project. Um, how's your Saturday going, man? Um, yeah, I mean, just working, came home, napped, uh, woke up, jacked off, and then did the stream. <laughs> so not too bad. Um, <laughs> uh, hope you guys are doing lovely. I hope you, you guys are doing good, too. Um, is that sculpture you're blatantly trying... <laughs> you're blatantly trying to hide? Let me have a look. Hmm. Gulp, this is it, I'm done for. Tell me, Violet, what did you use as your inspiration to create your character? 
What are your influences? What are your influences? Uh, nature and the cosmos, pre-Columbian ethnic groups and cultures, my vital experience, hentai, hentai, 100%. <laughs> hentai and its new, hentai and its numerous subgenres are a great source of inspiration. I masturbate a lot. <laughs> I hope you're not trying to make a fool out of me here, Violet. Answer this question. If you had to link your creation to an artistic movement, what one would it be? Expressionism, pixel art, futurism, hyperrealism. Hmm. I'm gonna. Uh, hey, OJ, how's it going, man? Uh, I'm doing good. Haha. <laughs> Woke up and jacked off. Love how honest you are, John. <laughs> well, I mean, why lie? Why lie, right? <laughs> uh, post nut honesty. <laughs> post nut honesty, Emma. <laughs> Oh god, I love you guys. You're great. You actually understand and accept me for who I am. <laughs> Had a bad today. Oh no, what happened, dude? Uh, Hyperrealism. All right, I'm gonna go for pixel art because I said hentai. So yeah, yeah, yeah. clearly my work, clearly my work can be defined as pixel art. Isn't that obvious? <laughs> Hmm, fine, fine, fine. I wonder if she's buying all this crap. I have one last question about your project. What technique and materials have you used? Uh, mixed technique, raw materials, noble metal alloys, liquid ivory, electroplating, glitter and glue. Glitter and glue. <laughs> I went back to the roots and based my work on glitter, glue, marker pens and crayons. Enough. I've had enough of this crap. Do you take me for an idiot? What? But I just... What is it you're... Did you really think I wouldn't notice? This character is Mesut Turkulu, the most popular Turkish superhero of the 70s. What? A Turkish superhero? Are you sure of that? I didn't expect this from you, Violet. I'm beyond disappointed. A student like you, plagiarizing. The fine arts school code of conduct is very clear in these cases. You're expelled. Expelled? Me? No, no, no. Miss Sweep, you don't understand. Listen to me, please. <laughs> there is nothing to talk about. You should be ashamed and think of the hard work that artists all around the world have to. Oh, it's the men Carmen Menstruego, or whatever her name was. Uh, <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, argued with my best friend, <laughs> Howie Felterbush. <laughs> Howie Felterbush, nice. I like, I like that one, OJ. <laughs> uh, what a bastard. Um, I mean, I did the same thing before with the whole endorphins, got rid of my headache. <laughs> uh, I love it. Like, hey, we're all we all jack off. It's fine. Everyone does it. You son of a bitch. You had me going, <laughs> along with his cousin Clint Taurus. <laughs> Clint Taurus. <laughs> I love it. A pair of wankers. Um, I was totally typing something heartfelt. You go to hell, AJJ. I I actually fell for it as well. I was like, oh, dude, what happened? And it's like, yeah, <laughs> it really does help, Emma. Right? Sex always sobers me up. <laughs> so if the cops ever pull you over, you know what to do. <laughs> Yeah, the cops pull you over and you're like, I've got to be quick here. <laughs> and like, the cop comes to you and it's just like, Yeah, I'm... Uh, I was going to arrest you, but now I'm just not in the mood. Uh, that just ruined my day. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I can actually picture that now. That'd be so funny. Shit, today... Oh, right, so now she's on, like, the other one gets sees the same thing for her period. I get it. I get it. Violet's story complete. When the heart-rending truth finally sees the light. Check crunch and mate. Uh, where in the world is Carmen flicking the bean? <laughs> Dude, I'm so glad you recognised the reference as well. Like, the second I saw it, I was like, is that... Carmen San Diego, and like it was like, uh, it was like Carmen. Uh, I, I can't even remember. It was like Carmen something menstro or something. Um, I've been living on the streets ever since. Now I 
your characters of tourists on the spoiled napkins. E4 was my last chance to you do something with my life. I blew my life savings on the registration fee. Looks oh, looks like we three are in deep shit, right? I gave him like just a really dull voice because I just thought that'd be funny. That's correct. Neville returns. <laughs> Well, Neville voice anyway. Um, I remember playing the game Carmen San Diego. That was like a DOS game. I remember that was like old school. <laughs> Almost got that bitch once. Carmen San Diego can get it. <laughs> Do you remember like the TV show of Carmen San Diego? Like I still remember the theme tune to this day. It was like, Where on earth is Carmen San Diego? Carmen San Diego, where on earth can she be? Yeah, I remember that shit. <laughs> Yes! Hello! Well, you know what? Whether or not the situation becomes a failure or a breaking point in our pathetic lives is up to us. We must learn to turn challenges into new opportunities, learn from our mistakes, and continue to. Wow, Ethan, that was very eloquent! With such leadership skills, you'd be a great project director! Hey, the company's project director is me! I'm in charge of programming, but I also do some very important conceptual work that... Shut up, Jack! Look! Is that what I think it is? It's a very long limo. I wonder if we sit back and just carry on going. <laughs> what? Gee! Holy cow! Who... Whoever is inside that limo must be disgustingly rich. Disgusting! You're right. Let's steal all his money. Um. Oh. Um. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Um. Neville is both immortal and brutally frail. Is <laughs> his curse to bear? <laughs> uh, my name is Neville, and I'm definitely allergic to water, sir. But at the same time, I'm cursed of a mortal life. What is this? <laughs> um. Got to go, dude. Set things up on my side. Have a great stream, though, dude. No problem, Emma. Like, have a great stream, and I will be right over after this, which I don't think there's too much left of the game. Like, we're on the final chapter after all, so we're we're nearly done, and I'm very excited to see how this game ends, how it wraps all of this madness up. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> uh, fork partner, um... Hello, do we know each other? You look familiar to me. Who's asking? I'm Fork Partner, CEO at Revolver Analogic. I was hoping to find the next big indie game here. Anal, anal logic. <laughs> <laughs> but this year all the games showcased were utterly boring. What a shame, I have a contract waiting to be signed by a young indie developer. Well I guess today isn't my lucky day, right guys? Are, are you listening? It's, it's a miracle! It's a Christmas miracle! <laughs> I guess it is! Doesn't it strike you as too much of a coincidence? Shh, let me do the talking. Hey, Mr. Partner, actually, we are a young indie studio and we're working on a project that... Really? Uh, hell, <laughs> fuck's sake. Really, enough said. Set up an alpha version of your game and we can meet up in a couple of months. What? Why have I kind of adapted the... um? That dude from Harry Potter, um, you know, 10 points to Gryffindor. That guy. Um, Se Severus Snape, I think his name was. As I say, I've read like the first book and I've watched that one movie with the giant snake at the end. I will watch the Harry Potter films one day, one day. Right. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're working on. Ah, you indies, I'm sure the game is full of sex, drugs, and all sorts of obscenities. Well, it could do with a bit more sex, but don't you know, don't you want to know what the game is about? I trust my instinct. Tell me, boy, what's your company's name? Uh, Boog Buggy Soft Entertainment, like Ubisoft, but bugs. <laughs> Folkstar Games, Rockstar Games, Yandu Soft Games, uh, 
you can't do soft. I mean, that could be several. That could be like Microsoft. It could be Squaresoft. It could be because obviously a lot of games have got soft in their names because of software. So yeah, unepic games. Um, let me think. I'm going to choose Yandu Soft Games just on the off chance it is a Squaresoft reference and well I'm a fan of Squaresoft so we're Yandu Soft Games we started out as a laundromat but now video games are our specialty it's a ridiculous name but I've heard much worse anyway see you in two months goodbye Mr. Partner thanks a bunch drive safely I mean your driver shit ah, for Get it. What a nice guy. You see, finally a stroke of unexpected luck. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm convinced that the character was just Alan Rickman being Alan Rickman. <laughs> My dream is Alan Rickman. Yeah. I could probably do the impression if I really tried, but I'm embarrassing myself by trying right now. <laughs> oh, I thought it was all because of the executives are soft in the head. Well, I mean, you can argue that maybe. Or maybe they work themselves so hard that they have um, erectile dysfunction. Because stress does cause that. So, you know, maybe it's that. <laughs> the crunch. Um, anyway. It seems they've also skipped a cinematic and a uh, character design. How much did you say this game costs? Hey guys, stop breaking the fourth wall. We have a mission to do. We must get back to the Jack Cave immediately. I'm going to call an Uber right now and... Jack Cave. <laughs> uh had to be done. <laughs> wow, that was fast. You didn't even have time to call them. Oh, man. Another stroke of luck. No doubt about it. We're on a roll. Come on, team. What are we waiting for? The future's calls. The future is calls. Wait, what? The, the future calls. Look at me, Bob. I'm doing good. <laughs> I still think all of this is too much of a coincidence. It is a little bit of a coincidence, but they have just broken the fourth wall, so we're about to face the developer of the game, probably. Oh, Carmageddon reference. Yay. Um, at least the title was to do with Carmageddon. I'm not sure if the... Because Carmageddon plays a lot different to this. So I think I'm meant to avoid the pedestrians. Or maybe not. I don't think I did too... Oh! Right, so just avoid the cars and collect points, right? Okay, I can do that. Right. Oh, I can't use the D... Fuck, I tried to see if I could use the D-pad to... Um change lanes because that would do a lot better but nope nope right so yeah literally the, the instructions didn't say anything about the pedestrians so I'm not actually sure if we're allowed to hit them or not <clears throat> yeah <laughs> that, that um, pedestrian was glitched on the car then that made me laugh it made me laugh Quite a lot. Uh, thing is, it doesn't move the fastest, so it's uh, kind of tricky. Oh, whoa, nearly went into a car. Okay, okay, okay. Right, look ahead of the road, John, and then you won't make mistakes. You can actually read the road. Like Fifty Shades of Grey. Like in that one time, right, guys? <laughs> uh, I will do another narrative stream at some point. I just don't know what to read. And I, I don't really want to do the sequel to Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't want to do anything with Fifty Shades of Grey again. <clears throat> but I'd like to do something serious. Like um, like maybe a, like a horror... Short story horror reading. Or I don't know. Read some of the uh, Final Fantasy books or something I've got. That would be fun. Um, it's like GTA Paperboy. Yes, there we go. Fine. Hey, what's happening with the beds? They're glitching out. Everything's glitching out. This is where they find out they're in a game, after all. 
Fine. After this endearing tribute to the controversial and violent video games of the 90s, let's do some work. Let's make the rules roles clear so we can all work efficiently and in coordination. I'll be head of programming and project director. I would remind you that it's me who's holding a keyboard on the cover of the game, so there should be no objections there. Violet, you are the project art director. The game's aesthetic design is your responsibility. Is this is your office? Fine, I suppose I can set up my stuff in some corner here. Marvelous, that's the attitude. Ethan, you're in charge of the soundtrack and the game's audio design. I've got a question. What's up with that dead old guy? Dead? Oh no, this is Mr. Furnisberg. He's, um, our community manager. Yeah, that's it. He's got years of experience. He'll get the entire world to know our work. Wait, so I've grown up to this point and the old guy is still preserved. That's, that's weird. <laughs> uh, wait, um, liar, we call for more furniture prawn. <laughs> All of the furniture prawn. Twitch need to make its own category just narrating for you. I mean, they've got just chatting, but you're right. They should have sort of like um, a narration um, um, theme. There's some pretty crazy creepypastas that you could read that are pretty good. Oh, man, I read a really, really good one the other day. Um, there was the two-hour one, which was like a Godzilla NES version, which is one of the best creepypastas I've heard in a long time. But that was something I heard. Um, fuck, there was one I read, though. It was all based on, like, um, basically a guy met Satan and found out that the greatest trick Satan ever pulled was having people believe that he was Jesus. Like, he'd actually... Um, created himself as Jesus like back in the day and made the Bible and the Bible is all like rules to get into hell and it's like oh dude it was such a good twist I loved that one um genius idea Eric I think my favourite one is the Russian sleep experiments oh man the Russian sleep experiments is a good one 100% <clears throat> where it gets onto the part where like the guy rips off his flesh in the cell and starts like um clogging up the air vents and stuff like that with it. It's like awesome. Um, <clears throat> I made a new category on Prawn Hub. Just wanking. <laughs> oh, I heard something similar to that on um, an Only Plays um, episode where they were talking about like, oh, they should do like a Let's Porn where it's just basically like the Let's Play kind of setting and everything but it's just them jacking off to porn and it's like, and they were saying about like, oh, in the comments you'd have people saying like, this guy didn't even come right and you know stuff like that it's like you, you'll always get the toxic comments <laughs> all right <clears throat> he's got years of experience he'll get the entire world to know our work if you say so but i'm not sitting next to him me, uh, me neither and i agree oh, with ethan this dude's been dead for weeks I think I've forgotten her voice. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. This is a multicultural team with diverse beliefs, sexual orientations, and gender identities. I'm asking you to please show some respect for your co-workers. This will not end well! Ugh. Well, maybe it's time I talk to my team members separately. We should get to know each other and cement our non-professional bonds. Ah, who am I trying to fool here? I just need to make sure they won't screw up. They're so incompetent. Wait, are they glitching out? Like, the beds that they're standing on, does it make them glitch out? No, it doesn't. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Furs Fernstromberger or whatever his name is. Um, uh, say what, Mr. Frisak? Do you want to know how we intend to monetize the game? I'll let you know since I'm the project direct direct director <laughs> director. You see, our game um is uh free to play plus loot boxes, loot boxes plus loot boxes, premium game plus DLC plus loot boxes, premium game plus loot boxes, premium game plus DLC plus loot boxes, 100%. We need to think big. We'll release a physical and digital version of the game at loot boxes, of course. Um, 
right? Nothing else we can explore there. Like, this is one of the few games I'm actually wanting to explore, like, everything. <clears throat> um, sounds like my every Thursday night with the homies when I was 14. <laughs> nice. Nice. Right, here we go. Oh, it's like Hotline Miami. Sweet. Okay, right, got the controls. I can't remember how... Oh, right, there you go. I couldn't remember how to finish him off afterwards. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm clearly out of practice on a... Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Fuck. I accidentally exited out. Fuck. Can't believe I've done this. <coughs> Excuse me. Hang on. I'm going to try that again. I'm going to have, like, three attempts and try and do it in then. Just because I love Hotline Miami. Like, what a great game that is. Right. Uh... Ah, damn it. <clears throat> I'm so out of practice at this game. <laughs> It's definitely not... Hang on, is it worth going that way? Fuck, how did he see me? That sucks. Like, he didn't see me until I got closer. And it's like, if there was a way to, like, kind of, um... Go silently or something, that would be much more beneficial. I just realised this is, like, taking place in his bathroom. Fuck, I can't believe I've done this. Maybe I should actually go down... That's what she said. Because um, <clears throat> really, ideally, I need a better weapon. Ooh, actually I can pick up that. There we go. Fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't know the other one was going to come at me. But I have I now know what to do, kind of. Right. Here we go. Now I know what to do. I'll have three attempts. So this is attempt two. I just realized, what is my face right now? Oh, it's Mr. Furstenberger, or I think, maybe, possibly. Because I've just realized from the top down, that is like an old man with a walking stick. But it's got the three hairs on top. I've only just realized what that is. Okay. Oh, okay, that insta-killed him. Sweet. Sweet deal. Fuck you. Uh, anyone in this room? No. Oh, I don't want to risk... Oh, actually. <laughs> I've got a gun now. Fuck you. Now I've got a shotgun. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I've run out... Oh, no. I ran out of bullets. <laughs> okay, right. Oh, I did so much better that time as well, but I didn't I didn't realise the shotgun only had three bullets. Okay, this time I know the exact route to take. And then wait for the gun to be on the other side of the door. Take it nice and easy. Oh fuck! Fuck! <laughs> I preed. I absolutely preed then. Uh. Right. Fuck. I can't believe I've done this. Right. I swear to God, this is my last attempt. A lot, very last attempt. Right, okay? No more excuses. Okay, okay. Right. Uh, take it nice and easy. I went through there. Maybe that will get them to get closer to the door. Come on, get to the door. Get to the door. Boom, there we go. Absolutely fuck you. Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't know how many bullets I've got, though. That's the only problem. There we go. Oh, doing good. Okay, okay. 
Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, there's still an orderly down there. Oh, I'm out of bullets. God damn it. <laughs> the one bullet. Luckily, I didn't fall. Oh. I'm panicking. There we go. This is how we do it. There we go. We got this. We got this. Hang on. I just saw that there's a chat. Um, this game is like video game the game and it's pretty fantastic. Oh, dude. Seriously, I cannot recommend this game enough. Like, I've had such a blast playing it. Oh. Oh. I just realised I dropped my gun. There we go. Anyone else want some? No? You're all dead? Okay. Cool. Sweet. I'm done. I'm Audi 500. Bitches! There we go. Oh man, I love... Like, one day, one day I might actually do Hotline Miami stream. I'm just saying, because I do love that game. Yeah, everything okay, Violet? I've already ordered 200 doses of intravenous intravenous coffee. Will that be enough for you? Coffee isn't a problem. It never <laughs> has been. I'm pissed off because I don't know what to do. I need some info to start working. Where does the action take place? What's the Helic Games universe? Uh, Post-apocalyptic dystopian future, prehistory, World War II, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Obviously, the Star Wars reference. It all happens in a far, far away galaxy. Several interplanetary civilizations are vying for the meager resources. All right. <clears throat> all right. I guess I can start sketching some concepts with that. Oh. You look worried, Ethan. The bags under your eyes look greener than usual. I'm not sure about this. Violet really is an asset, but we don't even know what our next game will look like. <laughs> I'm sounding more and more like fucking um, Ringo Starr. You're the project director. Speak to the gamer kid that lives inside you and ask him. <laughs> what the fuck is our game about? Graphic adventure, mini games, Metroidvania, walking simulator. Metroidvania! I'm going to be playing a Metroidvania next week and I cannot wait for that. Like next Thursday. Um... Ethan, calm down, man. The game will be Metroidvania with platforms, hundreds of enemies, interactive maps, etc. Mm. Alright, I can buy that. But let's stay on track, okay? No experiments this time. Okay, I think it's time. Team meeting! Everybody to my office. You mean... here? Thank you all for coming. As project director, it is my duty to inform you about where the company's headed. By now we know for certain that our game... Oh, sorry, the game, our game, the project that will make us forever rich and immortal, is a Metroidvania, is set in a galaxy far, far away, and it's going to be a premium game with DLC and hundreds of loot boxes. Apart from the loot boxes, I would totally play that game. <laughs> Just the old guy, like, mm. <laughs> Crunch. Okay. Uh All right, okay. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Co if you are capable of managing the generous budget I've allocated to you. Oh, right, so you go l swipe left to say no. I'm right to do that. Okay, I'll do my best. <clears throat> okay, listen to your team. Learn when you stand firm and when to give in when you have to. Uh, working with them is like conducting a choir of chickens, but I'm the genius. They should be listening to me. 
Um. Hmm, both are bad answers, honestly. <laughs> um. I'll do the genius one, why not? <clears throat> you already know how the fuck. Uh, you know how this fuck works. It's pretty obvious who's getting a tribute here. Uh, are we going to litigate over this? Yep, I think I get it. I think I get it, yeah. No, this is too much responsibility for me. Fuck, I just wet myself. Change my undies, or my undies can handle it. My undies can absolutely handle it. <laughs> Hang on, what the fuck is this thing? Oh, Frustenberg, okay. Ahem, ahem, good news. What was his voice? Oh, it's like... Jackie! Oh, Jackie! Okay. <clears throat> Good news, everybody! This week we got four new followers! Um, I look more like Norman Bates of every passing day. <laughs> I'm talking on behalf of a corpse. Norman Bates. It has to be Norman Bates. Hey, I need some candy to, you know, unleash my full creative potential. Okay, but leave some for me. No drugs in my studio. Okay, but leave some for me. Who's doing the shopping this week? Uh, I'll do it. Leave me alone. Take it in turns. I'll do it. I'll, I'll take on the. I'll take on the flak. Oh, I've just realised. Right, so the bars at the top show you like how good everything's doing. So earnings are down. Um. The project is down, but the creative guy, like the musician and the artist are doing fine. So I can let them down a little bit to make the game better. Dude, listen to this. I'm trying to tame an arpeggio from hell. Stop wasting time. This is awesome, man. <clears throat> I'm going to have to go for stop wasting time. I need to get those numbers back up. Uh, actually, I don't know. Because I've just realised it actually has a a circle above like what things it will affect so that saying it's awesome will make the team better but saying it's wasting time will make his mood drop but make the spreadsheet make the earnings go up um i don't know i don't know i'm i'm gonna uh he's got his mood quite high so i'm gonna say i'll, I'll take the sacrifice there we go. Do we need to hire an orchestra? Can't we assign... Uh, we can't assign that much of the budget to the music. Sound and music are essential. Uh, you're right, the artwork is much more important. Oh, right, so it's going to... Mm. Okay, I can, I'm going to take her... I'm going to give her a hit and make him go up just because she's higher at the moment. Mm, I can see you're working hard. <clears throat> Fuck, hang on, what is his voice? Mm, I can see that you're working hard. Here's an advance on your contract. Okay, so... Thanks, partner, or you can take your dirty capitalist money and leave it on the table. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can take your dirty capitalist money and leave it on the table. Thank you very much. Um... I'm gonna say thanks, part. Oh, I don't know actually, because I think that's the funnier answer. But I think I'll get more if I say thanks. So there we go. Boom! Straight up to the top. Earnings at max. As project director, it's me who decides how to distribute these resources. Share it out among all of them. It all goes to Jack. Oh, right, I see. So, actually, the third window is Jack's window. But, fuck, everyone's mood's going to go down, and the artist isn't the best standing right now. But at the same time, his one is pretty low. Mm. Uh, I'm going to share it out. Fuck it. There we go. Oh shit, my game code is bug infested. Um, it's my duty and mine alone to handle it. Guys, help. I'm going to say guys help because their mood is up at the moment and it should even out a little bit that way. No, no! 
Fuck. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. <clears throat> it was a great thing, you guys. I got to get ready to take off. I hope you have the greatest rest of your stream. Thanks, Eric, man. Have a good rest of your day, too. I hope it goes well. Um, oops, I think I just accidentally deleted all my work. Um, it's the musician's fault. Shoot the piano player. Um, it's always the musician's fault. Hang on. So where's the musician's fault? It is the musician's fault. Shoot the piano player. Wait, both of them are really bad. Fuck. Um. Oh, I'll shoot the piano player. It's time, every. <clears throat> it's time, everyone. I hope you have a playable demo ready for me, guys. Fuck. I, I keep forgetting his voice. <laughs> Fresh out the oven. You can try our alpha version whenever you want, sir. Um. So really, the only one that affects anything, because that affects nothing, but that affects the artist. I'm just not certain if it's uh, going to be positively or negatively. Here we go. Oh, it was positive. Okay, sweet deal. <clears throat> So we're going to try out the game now, I think. No? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we're getting close. Very close. The prophecy will come true, and so will my destiny. The gates of hell will open wide. Eternal night will tread descend upon mankind. And the rivers will be tinged red with the blood of the innocents. Hill. Jack, are you talking to yourself again? What? Me? Although I was just rehearsing the pitch. I've, I've got to... Pitch our game to miss the partner, remember? Jack, dude. Leave, uh, leave him alone, Ethan. He must deal with his own shit. Guys, I know what's going on. I understand how you feel. I'm going through the same stuff as you. It's a very tough job, I know. And I'm sure you're probably wondering. For what? That's not what I'm wondering. Me neither. So that someone somewhere could have a great time playing our game? Is so much sacrifice is so much sacrifice worth it? Well I say it is. The world deserves to play our game, so we must make our final push. We blew Mr. Partner's advance, so we're launching a quick starter campaign. Don't look at me like that. We're not humiliating or degrading ourselves. Micro patronage isn't begging. Let's steer clear of demo demagoguery. <laughs> what kind of word is that? Now, let's take stock of where we are. Clean up your desks, guys. The boss is here. Jack, seriously, man. I think we should talk. I told you to leave him be, Ethan. He's still in a very early stage. Check the project's progress. Ethan, dude, how's my favorite composer doing? Oh, hang on. Ethan, dude, how's my favorite composer doing? Got any new stuff ready for me to listen to? Charm me, surprise me, seduce me with your magic, maestro. Jack, if you spit the pills out again, I'm telling Dr. Partner. I'm telling... Oh, okay, I'm telling Dr. Partner, okay. <clears throat> What pills? What are you talking about? I'm not covering up for you anymore. I'm worried about you. And I don't want you to, I don't want to wear diapers anymore. Do you understand? Ethan, you're under a lot of pressure. But I need you more than ever, man. The game needs your music. Ugh, this is useless. Okay, Jack, I'll have those songs ready by this afternoon, alright? Great! I knew I could count on you! <coughs> God damn. Right. Ah, Violet, I see by your blank stare that you're in the middle of a creative fit. Am I wrong? In your head right now, you're flying through imaginary landscapes and building entire civilizations with your mind. I think it's perfect. Ah, Violet, everything okay? 
You overconceptualized and got lost, is that it? You shouldn't feel ashamed. It's a very common disorder among concept artists. Just tell me if you've got the stuff ready for the game. Will you turn it on in time? You're simply the best, Violet. I never doubted you. Uh, we've done the bathroom already. Let's speak to our community manager. Um, hi, Mr. Freeternoon. How's it going? Is the marketing plan ready as you promised? Say what? Oh, you're right. You emailed me the marketing plan yesterday. You're right. You're absolutely right, Mr. Fisher Spice. <laughs> Fisher Price. <laughs> Say that again? Oh, yes, absolutely. The guys are delighted with you. They know you're just shy, which is why you don't talk much. I'm glad everything's okay in regards to your wife and children, Mr. Fringe and Hop. Oh, um, bless you. Oh, right, okay, so I actually coughed. Like, so many people think that I sneeze when I cough. Like, you are not the first person to do that. You're probably about the... Just a rough estimate, I'm probably forgetting some, but I can think of at least five people that have said bless you when I've coughed, and it's like, yeah, the more I look at Jack, the more I see Michael Moore. <laughs> oh man, now I am definitely seeing that too. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to take a drink, so I'm getting really dry right now. Wow, it must be the heat, but I'm feeling kind of dizzy here. Hey guys, let's let's check the quick starter webpage, shall we? Let's see. If we want to publish our game, we must persuade potential investors. We could offer them some exposure in the game credits. That would be nice. We can give out freebies like desktop wallpapers, toys, screensavers, and stuff based on the game art. That's bullshit! We're killing the planet by filling it up with useless junk! We can also include the investors in the game as NPCs. Oh, I like it. But only if the NPC dies in a very sadistic way. We can also invite the big investors to a romantic dinner. Romantic dinner? With whom? With the company CEO? And there must be a happy ending. You mean? And the CEO should be disguised as a T-Rex. Well, I guess some sick rich old guy might be interested. So, who's the company CEO? What do you mean, who? Aren't you the company CEO? No, no, no. I'm project director and head of programming, which are high responsibility positions, but... Jack, I always took it for granted that you were the CEO. What? No, I can't do that, can I? Maybe that's something I should ask myself. How much do I want our game to come true? Am I willing to sell my body and soul and sacrifice my non-existent personal life? Um, I'm getting really dry right now, that's what she said. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice, it's Toad. Hold on a minute, kid! FYI, I'm the company CEO! I can't do a Toad. Mario! <laughs> I have to go really loud to do his voice. Wow! Oh my! Is that... Check Crunch Mate. Whoa, dude! What the fuck? This is where it turns out the whole game is like a horror. <laughs> And that's how Neville became the CEO and Master of Douchebaggery. Oh, he's in a psychiatric hospital. He snapped. Or maybe he all of this was just a dream. at the end of the game.
He's a kid again. Be the fucking best video games program ever. Brava, brava. What a game. What a game. So good. But I reckon there's gonna be a post credit scene. We shall find out. Developed by Yandu Soft. Wait, Yandu Soft? That was the name of the company that I said earlier. Was that actually the name of the actual developers? They look like a fun bunch. And to be fair, with the humour in the game, like, I kind of want to buy them all a beer. <laughs> 69 comments. Okay. Um, <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. It was one flew over the cuckoo's nest all along. It was! It totally was! Oh, Vergara. I just I thought I saw vagina on the screen. I was like, ooh, what? <laughs> um, one little choice changes everything. <laughs> Yarn dare <there>, soft. <laughs> uh, what? <clears throat> oh my god, I lost my voice then. Um, like I know Yarn dare is a kind of porn, but what kind? Like like a kind of like hentai porn, but I don't know what kind. Like there's so many different kinds. Like um. Because it's not my kind of thing, so I'm like, I know there's like, uh, I th I think someone, it it definitely wasn't Miss Morty console because like I know she's really into anime, but she like she's so innocent. There's no way it was her, but I know someone told me about Yaoi, which is I think like sort of like hentai for girls. I I don't know. <laughs> I do not know what the different types are. Like, um, I, I think there's like a specific name for like the tentacle shit as well, like and stuff like that. Uh, maybe she has a dark side. <laughs> How funny would it be if like Miss Marty Console come into the stream as I said that and then saw your reaction? That would have been amazing. <laughs> uh. I will check just to see, just in case there isn't a post credit scene or anything. I was about to say, like, I wonder who else is streaming. And I just remembered Emma left earlier to say that she was carrying on with the uh, Zelda Three Hearts challenge, which is a hundred percent where we, I'm gonna send everyone because uh, that is a hell of a challenge. I've been watching that so much; it's awesome. Um, <laughs> busted post nut scene. <laughs> Amazing. Yarn Dare is the schoolgirls that obsess and then kill their obsession. Oh, right. So sort of like um that uh the, the, the Doki Doki Literature Club type thing. <clears throat> Man, I think before I do t yet the uh, yesterday's before I do tomorrow's stream, I'm a hundred percent gonna have to have some uh hot honey and lemon because uh. <coughs> I'm definitely getting into hay fever season and it is uh it is killing me. <laughs> I'm a bit ill supported. There's so many people who worked on this game. I mean I'm not surprised it is a really good game. Indie NPC friends. I would say it actually did include like Kickstarter backers as NPCs. And that was, okay, yeah, so these people were, I actually did encounter as well. Lily, Mark Alucard, Nikki Neon. Yeah, so these all were um, characters in the game. I wish I'd backed this now, god damn it, like how good would that have been? And then secretly it turns out that I have and I'm the next character that shows off. But I, that's not, that's 100% not the case. But um, I will say um, there is one in uh, Kickstarter where I will be in the credits and that will be... Uh, 
uh, I've forgotten the name of the game. Like, it's called Sea of Rats or something like that. Fuck. I've been really interested in its, like, concept and everything. It's basically, like, a hand-drawn, almost, like, Disney-esque looking Metroidvania um, that also looks quite adult and everything. It looks so good. And um, I totally invested a bunch of that. Curse of the Were, John. Curse of the Were Rats, thank you. Um, <laughs> Doki Doki Ya yeah, Nana Lady Marmalade. <laughs> Doki Doki Ya yeah, Ya yeah, Nana Lady Marmalade. <laughs> I tried to emphasize my inner. Sorry, I uh, tried to access my inner Christina Aguilera then. <laughs> Where she does the whole like, yeah, just changes the tone so much. Um, that would be a cool plot twist. It would, it would. And I wish I'd done it, but I had no idea about this game until recently, which I need, I should probably check Kickstarter more often. Like obviously once, once job security kind of reutilizes itself, like whether it's in a new job or whether we save the surgery, um, 100% I'm going to start looking at um, Kickstarter again. <laughs> Jesse J. No, 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 no. <laughs> the over vocalizing always cracks me up. It's crazy. Like I think um, Family Guy made fun of it at one point as well. Like, like I know the first instance of them making fun of Christina Aguilera is going like about um, about how she's offensive to the five senses. And she goes like, oh, you didn't say taste. And he's like, well, you know how you get that kind of smell that kind of lingers at the back of your throat, gets stuck there? Well, it tastes like salty garbage. You smell like salty garbage. No, you taste like salty garbage, yeah. And it's like, oh, poor Christina. Like, she did sort of change though, didn't she? Like, when she did like Genie in the Bottle, she had that sort of Britney Spears-esque kind of innocence sort of thing. And then, um... Like she did the whole, um, 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 I want to say braids, but they're not braids. Um, but yeah, like she just kind of looked kind of trashy and I was like, Ugh. but I think she then went back on herself as well. But I mean, each to her own, you know, she's allowed to join her in a bottle. I'm a Gina in a bottle. You got to rub me the right way. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoa, so many like random like uh, uh symbols there like Bender 59 but it's like got a bunch of shit before it. Uh <clears throat> I'm just trying to look at the names and see if there's any funny ones I can see. Uh Avalanche Gale, blah blah blah, Demat, Nate Graf, uh there's got to be some funny ones in there, surely. And all the backers that didn't fill the fucking form. Oh, yeah, because um, with a lot of um, Kickstarters, it will ask you to fill out a form so you can actually have your name in the credits. And obviously, there's a bunch of backers that didn't do that. Our friends, families, and you, the gamer, for playing our game. Right, let's see if there's a po a post um post nut scene. Thank you for playing with yourself. Is it is it gonna say it? Is it gonna say it? I'm waiting for it. I guess not, fine. But is there an after credit scene? Well, I can't. Oh, okay. I was going to say, it's not letting me do anything. Uh... Yeah, so that's the game. That's the game. Ooh. Right. Uh, it works. Vagina for all and to all a good shag. <laughs> right. I'm just going to check to make sure that is 100% everything we've got. No, so I haven't got the platinum, so there's something else we're missing. What is it? <clears throat> I just want to make sure we've got every, like we've explored everything in the game. 
says a hidden trophy play splat poo okay so there's a extra mini game called splat poo this is a go in mini games no it's locked so wait there's a seat there's a mini game i missed and it looks like it's right at the beginning of the game like after the code hero part I don't know, should we, should we try and find that? GG! Thanks man, thanks! Um, you know what, I think, right, we'll skip all of the text and everything, because we've obviously done it all already. Um, I'm going to get past the um, guitar hero part. Um, start a new game, why not? So... <clears throat> We're going to get this last mini game, and to be fair, I kind of want to see what Splat Poo is all about. Oh no, so we can't skip this first part. Um, it's definitely chapter one, Think South Park. Exactly. Oh! My phone has started to lag. That's not good. That's fine though, I can just go to connections and go to access 4G. <clears throat> oh god. Right. So you can't skip the big cutscenes, you can only skip the normal text. Right, so I think... The Guitar Hero part happens quite early on. Oh, so the ending was a callback to the very start. Dude. I was not expecting that. Exam day. Too much pad spoils the nerd. Okay, right. So. Where was the guitar hero part? Because I'm guessing there's a toilet in the school and we might have to do something. Yeah. Hey, hey, wake up, nerd. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, we've done all this. Um, so we need to find what am I meant to do actually? Go to programming class. Okay. Yeah, so there's a toilet there. So, I'm guessing once we go to programming class afterwards, okay, find the keyboard. There we go. Um, right, here we go. Right, and then I remember you do the Guitar Hero part as your programming um, mini game. And I'm guessing afterwards I can go to the toilet and that's where we play Splatpoon. Which I'm guessing will be a Splatoon reference. <clears throat> right. I remember I did really terribly at this last time. Get the fuck out of all rights. <laughs> Okay. Alright, I'm doing a lot better than I did the first time I did this. Oh, no! Fuck, I, I had to speak too soon, didn't I? Jojo's. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. This is where we need Toasty to do this. Like, her rhythm game skills are fucking insane, dude. Oh, fuck. Da, 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 da. Oh. Uh, Oh, fuck, I pressed the wrong button. No! Fuck, fuck, fuck. There we go, done. <clears throat> it scares me how fast she is. 
I know, like, she must have, like, crazy good reflexes for, like, I can imagine, like, someone dropping, like, a can of, like, like a drink or something, and she'll just be like, <laughs> and just grab it, like. But, like, it's like when we watched that stream of hers, and she was just like, I was just like, my, my eyes were actually getting confused. I was, felt like I was going cross-eyed. <laughs> Uh, right, so let's try and go to the toilet now and play Splat Poo if it is indeed in here. And I think it will be. I'm calling it now. It's the last mini game we need. Ah, oh, I remember coming in here actually. The toilet for the disabled seems to be infested with zombies. Should we do something about it? Let well, that crazy old cleaning lady deal with it. Um. I don't need to go to the bathroom right now. In fact, my mouth is dry. Uh, like, I'm certain it's got to be in here, but probably after I've met certain requirements. Maybe I've just got to keep coming back in there. But it's definitely the second mini game, like in the trophies and uh, on the mini game list, it was the second mini game. So it's got to be shortly after that. Hmm. So go to the cafeteria. Let's go to the cafeteria. Oh, I've oh, gone scripting class, my bad. <clears throat> But whilst we're in here, let's see if the cleaning lady says anything. Maybe she'll say, like, you need to clean the floor or something. No, okay. Unless. No, can't talk to her a second time. God damn it, I will find this mini game. <laughs> he said his mouth was dry. I know, everyone's mouth is dry today, it's crazy. But for me, it's because it's starting to get to hay fever season, and it's like. Oh. Actually, it's the cafeteria. No, the cafeteria was down the stairs, if I remember right. It wasn't. That's the principal's office. Okay. So maybe in the cafeteria. I, I can't remember enough. Like, I think maybe you can find a drink and then you'll need the toilet. Uh, da 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 da. Uh, oh no, so, oh, where is this mini game? Because this is like the third mini game here. I remember this one took me quite a while to do as well. Because it's like a maze almost. Uh, right. Fuck. Can't believe I've done this. Well, I'm gonna grab that heart because I've just taken some damage. I forgot how they attacked. Okay, jokes. So maybe after I do this fight, I'll try and go into the bathroom again and see what happens. Literally, this level is so massive that it's very easy to get lost. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck. Right, okay.
Owie. Right, so I am quite close to death right now. Um, <clears throat> every time I pee, I like to sing Toto's Africa. I bless the rains down in Africa. <laughs> oh man, I when I did the uh, video editing job, I was obsessed with that song. I don't even know why, but every time like I think of that song now, I think of that job. I think I even edited like um, a certain video that we edited. Like it was, it was like a guy, and he was like shouting like in the middle of the phone shop, and um, over the top of him, I just had this really calming like dun 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 dun. dun. It was just like completely like the thing is because it was in work. Like obviously, if you installed like a. Um, a USB drive or something they'd be like why were you doing that like are you stealing company secrets blah 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 and it's like ugh um, so I couldn't ever save it but yeah we had that on like our main server drive thing fuck that's not how you say it I'm too busy concentrating on trying to work out where I've got to go because this is the same problem I had the first time I did this it's like okay it's like an actual maze So, did I go down here? I must have, because that table is already broken. But did I go down here probably, because that stuff's broken? Yeah. Where do I, where do I got to go? Maybe up here? There we go, there's a new room. Oh. Right, so I heard the door unlock. <clears throat> da, 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 dun, dun, dun. That song stuck in my head. <laughs> but because we had the door unlocked, maybe it's worth going back to that door that I can go in earlier. Which was, I don't remember where it was. Like, not entirely. Maybe it was down. I think we're going in the right direction for it. I think it was down here. Yes, it was. Okay, cool. Exit. There we go. I did that a lot easier than the first time. Um, right. So, let's try the toilet again. I mean, there has to be a way to unlock it. I just don't know what it is. And if it still doesn't do it, I'll try and get the grade and come back once more. If it's still not doing it, I'll just end the stream there. Just because I'm getting super hungry right now. Hang on. Oh, hang on. They say different things each time. That lasagna looked much better on the way in. There goes my good deed for the day. Help, please. We have to get inside. There are still survivors. They're using my guts as toilet paper. Ah, never mind. So, yeah, they're the only two things it says. Ah, oh, it's got to be something. Oh, let that crazy old cleaning lady deal with it. Okay, okay, that's just what we need. Right, let's go back to the cleaning lady. I think I've solved it. Because I'm thinking now, we talked to the cleaning lady, because she had the mop bucket, and splat poo obviously sounds like splatoon, which is about covering, like, you know, covering the ground in, well, goop, water or something. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, water fountain. Oh, water fountain. Right. Let's see if this works. Get lost. Chill out, will you, old bag? Burst off right, wipe the floor with your head, you brat. Okay, I'm leaving. Ah, oh, this is the same thing. Has to like 
There has to be a way. There has to be a way. Right, so my last attempt is to go get the grade and then come back. And if that doesn't work, then that's it. Stream over. And I failed. Um, get grade. So in that room, <clears throat> there was one in the hallway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, right. I see what you mean. Like, yeah, I should go to the water fountain and see if that works. Okay, I see what you mean. I thought you were saying, like, yeah, like, oh, what a fountain. But, like, water fountain. Like, I thought it was a pun. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> right, we shall try the water fountain. Oh. Be water, my friend. Ugh, it tastes like ass. My bladder is about to burst. I must get to the bathroom now. Cyber, you genius. You genius, dude. Oh my god, I feel like I could fill the whole Amazon River. So that's what we had to do. I'm so glad you're in my stream, dude. <laughs> Watery ass. Oh, so he's gonna use his piss like the Splatoon's goop. Oh, I see. And there we go. There's one trophy, and then up comes the platinum. Woo! Right, let's play this. Okay, so it's not like that. It's like um, fuck. Ah, oh, there's a game on thing. Like I know what the game is based on. Oh, I've got to, I've got to pee off the poo. And let's be honest, we've all done this. We've absolutely all done this. What am I meant to do with the hands? Am I meant to pee on the hands? No? Oh, you are, okay. It's like people reaching underneath the uh, stools for some reason. Fuck off. It's so hard to control. Oh, they're getting faster at getting to me. All right, that one I've, I've nearly got rid of. Oh, I failed. <laughs> the old reach around. Reminds me of the old Flash games. The platinum will be yours. Oh, yes, it will be yours. Oh, I love Wayne's World. It will be mine. Oh, yes, it will be mine. I don't need to go to the bathroom right now. In fact, my mouth is dry. Oh, okay, so you, can, you have to keep basically doing the um, water fountain and then coming back. But, now we've unlocked it at least, so it'll just be a case of going back to the title screen and you can play it over and over again. But I've got to admit, I didn't really enjoy that one that much. But yeah, okay, we shall go do a raid. Go do a raid. Um, so... Da, 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 da. Winged... Angel 1992 and there we go and yeah thank you for joining I think cyber you're the only one left in here um, so I appreciate you and I appreciate everyone else who's joined in during the course of this and peace out see you tomorrow for fuck I forgot <laughs> oh yeah fear effect Sedna and um, Sonic 2 upside down and yeah, let's go. Cheers, Johnny Rock, man. You rock, dude. You rock. <laughs> right, catch you later, everyone. Bye.